Good morning and welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to just do a little refresh on uh, using this EP Ever charge controller along with the remote uh, meter, the MT50, on programming a lithium ion phosphate battery. So let's get right on to it. So here both of those units are mounted on the wall. And if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen this configuration before. And one of the problems, it wasn't really a problem. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to use the uh, preset uh, programming on the MT50 for the, for the battery or go with the user settings. So after a couple of days of messing with it, I decided that the... Uh, the gel setting was pretty nice, uh, except for the floating at 13.8. I didn't want it floating at 13.8. So I played around with the parameters a little bit more and decided to go back to the user setting. And it took me a little while to figure out exactly what I wanted on that. But I think I've got it now, and it's been working for a few days just perfectly at this setting. But I'll show you what I had to change in order to make that uh, work perfectly. So the temperature compensation coefficient I set to zero. And there's the overvoltage discharge, the charge limit. Overvoltage reconnect. Equalized charge, which the equalized charge is uh, really irrelevant because we uh, don't, don't use an equalized setting or uh, we never let it equalize. And I'll show you how that is set. <clears throat> so here's what I want. I wanted the boost at 14.2 and the float at 13.5. That's what I was most comfortable with with this particular battery. So this is where I had the most problem. If you, if you set anything above 13.2, this particular MT50 and uh, the charge controller itself won't allow 13.3 and above. It'll always say parameter error. And that was what was causing me the problem. So once I once I got it set to 13.2, then everything worked perfectly. So that's what I had to do. And then the low voltage reconnect, 12.6. Under voltage reconnect, 12.2. Under volt warning, 12. I'm not really as concerned about these because I'm, this battery is probably never going to get drained that low. Low voltage disconnect, discharge limit. So here's the course, and I've gone over this before. Just set your equalized time to zero. And I've just got 10 minutes on my boost time. So once it hits 14.2, it just tapers off the incoming current uh, for 10 minutes. And then uh, the battery will uh, go down and uh, float around 13.5. So that's made all the difference in the world, and I just wanted to go over that with somebody else, or with, with all of you, in case any of you are having the same kind of a problem. I didn't like the... Uh, actually, I did like the gel settings, except for the float part. 13.8, I just didn't want to float it at 13.8. So here you can see what's coming in right now. I've, got a cloud passing by, but it's, uh, I was getting, oh, about 16 amps in just a few minutes ago, and it was up to about 13.7. The other thing that I'll say is it shows 13.5, uh, won't stay on there long enough for me, 13.5, if you take, if you take a reading on the, uh, the terminals themselves, it'll be quite a bit lower. So just, just keep that in mind uh, as it's charging up, that this is not exactly accurate. Okay, well, I just wanted to do a quick update and show you how I was able to 
go ahead and utilize the uh, user setting and, and not have to use any of the preset uh, parameters like on the gel and you certainly the flooded even though most of those work pretty well but the fact that they don't allow you to to uh, you know change what uh, your float charge is so see here now I've got here it just bounced up 21 amps 137 now it'll hold this 137 for about the next couple of hours and then after that you know, it, it, it'll push past that and then it goes up very, very quickly to to its uh, boost charge. So, yeah, I hope this helps some of you that it might have been uh, struggling kind of with the same thing that I have been. But like I said, for the past few days, it's been working extremely well. I've been getting up to a full charge every day. And that's even with a little intermittent uh, clouding. So very, very happy. And I've yet to see this on a discharge cycle ever drop below 13.2. It just holds that steady. So anyway, all right, have a good day. Hope this helps. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up if you feel for it too. All right, take care.